Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kemi and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys all about my Zara fragrance addiction and problem, but it's a good problem. So if you want Zara fragrances I have in my collection, I will spill the tea in this video. So go ahead and keep number one. I had no idea that Zara had fragrances. Number two, I did not know portable they are and three that the quality is pretty good for the price point that you're paying for it um their staying power is really good for the most part there are some that stay on better than the others but i'm not gonna you know those are the three kind of criteria that in my mind are important and i wanted to let you guys know about my favorite one that i have out of all of my collection is the woman rose gold I don't know if you're able to see it at all. It is stunning. It's beautiful bottle. Um, and okay, it's cute or whatever. It's a dupe for Gucci Bloom. So if you've been, if you use the Gucci Bloom or you've been thinking about the original Gucci Bloom, I'm not talking about the other new versions of them. I'm talking about the, the original one. Um, if you really like like a floral but not too heavy floral this is what this is about I'm gonna leave all the notes somewhere in the video and find links for the fragrances if I can find the links it will be in the description box so you guys can read about the notes and all that but this is to me in my mind it is a light blue Dolce Gabbana light blue Type of fragrance it's light kind of like that but Dolce Gabbana light blue is um, more aquatic while this is, stays nice light and floral it's a great summer spring fragrance I've been using it all year round because I don't really like if I like a fragrance I'm gonna use it whenever I want to use it okay uh, it's a good daytime fragrance and it is a good summer because uh, it's light you know so I love this. This is my top top one. I recommend it if you like a light floral. The second one that I like is this Boys Soleil. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it is my second favorite out of all the collections that I have. Um, I really like this. This definitely, I think I was influenced by Hyatt Rita and Melissa. Melissa made me do it. I don't know. There's a Melissa on Instagram. Uh, I think she's a fashion stylist and when she recommended this Everybody went out to get it and it was sold out in most most stores in the US and In the UK. It took me a while for me to be able to get this uh, There is another one that she recommends that I've still not been able to get my hands on it That's how wonderful of an influencer both of them are I ordered I can't remember if I ordered this or if I found it in my local store I think I, I searched for it in my local store a few times and I wasn't able to get other like really yeah it smells really good it's it's really pretty I, I mean if you like if you remember like your aunts in Nigeria when you were growing up how they smell so good not the aunts that were wearing red door not those aunts <laughs> But the ants that were that used to smell so yummy and you just you know they smell like comfort and spicy but sweet you know those ants this is what this reminds me of amber fusion it's really pretty uh it's definitely like if you've ever won amber romance uh, from victoria's secret it reminds me of a matured amber romance it's a good description. All right, and then I got this flower, the Orangea. I don't know if I'm pronouncing them right. This was a duo, they came together. This is a dupe for, it's a dupe for Amazing Grace and Pure Grace. If Amazing Grace and Pure Grace married and had a baby, they would have Flower de Orangea. Um, this one smells clean. If you are not into fragrances and you're getting into it, but you don't really want to smell floral or musky or nothing sounds good to you, then this might be a good gateway fragrance. 
it is a orange blossom type of scent so if you like that like a little light citrus uh, then you will like this one flora de oranger it smells super clean it smells like um like you washed your whole house top to bottom carpet couch everything like I cleaned this whole house and you're satisfied and you open the window it's a nice summery day you know or you did laundry and all of your house just smells fresh and clean that's what this smells like very clean fragrance amazing grace pure grace by philosophy if you ever go into the stores and you smell those fragrances this is what this smells like and I think both of them the travel size and the original bottle cost like 30 something bucks so I'm telling you the costs uh, for these fragrances are amazingly great uh, so they're a great way to just add to your collection if you're like me you change your mind all the time about what you like um, and your fragrance you wear fragrance per your mood this is a great way to just kind of add to like your more expensive ones and they help you your more expensive ones not uh, go so fast not that we're going anywhere really right now but we still want to smell good right the last one i'm going to show you guys is the actual first one i ever bought from zara and it was a dual it's one ounce i think i believe and the orchid one is the one i like it's super sweet though so i i usually mix it with the boy soleil uh together it gives me a nice balance or smelled any of the any of the celebrity fragrances like the pop star celebrity fragrances uh they tend to smell a lot like either of this sometimes they are so sweet that it's like nauseous it's almost like a 13 14 year old decided to wear her favorite pink dress pink socks pink underwear pink bow and then they put like glitter all over their face <laughs> kind of like just over the top that's basically um so it's almost there but there's some days that i still use it but i like to mix it with the muskier fragrances so they balance each other out really well the gardenia is one that i just didn't like as much at all but if you like gardenia you probably will like this because there's really nothing wrong with it it smells like gardenia and that's just not a note that i really really enjoy as much but it's still nice it's still you know like a form of floral um but that is all of the collection of Zara fragrances that I own. If you have your favorite, let me know. Leave me a comment, please. Let me know if there's one that you guys really, really enjoyed that I didn't mention that I should be on the lookout for. I will be more than happy to hear what you guys uh, like. Please give this video a like if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Find it useful uh, on my lips. I have Carvia, which is a, a contour stick, and I have Pure Zen in the center of my lips. I have Carvia as a lip liner, and then I put Fossil Lip Gloss by Fenty on my uh, overall like lip gloss. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, we are slowly growing this community, and I appreciate every single one of you guys. Um, yeah, thank you. All right, bye.